Hello, hello, and welcome back to my series where I'm taking on the combat achievements one randomly generated task at a time, while also gradually unlocking more and more content by completing achievement diaries. Last episode we finished up the easy tier, so today we'll be starting our medium tier adventure. We are already at 28% completed, those were just kind of passively done while doing the easy tier and while playing the, uh, the no achievement diary account, but there's still tons of very exciting and very difficult content left in there, so... Without further ado, let's see what we get for our very first task in the medium tier. Dagonoth Rex Champion. Alright, let's go kill some Dagonoths. Alright, so the first thing I'm doing here to kill the Dagonoths is entering the Ranging Guild. <laughs> and the reason for that is because this is where I can buy Rune Throne Axes. And I know it's possible to get to the Dagonoths without using the Rune Throne Axes, but it would, it would, you know, it would, I would have to be relying on friends or using like an alt account. And I don't have any friends, and my wife's boyfriend won't let me get members on two accounts at once, so I can't have my main helping me. So there's multiple other Dagonoth tasks that are in the medium tier here. So it was going to come up eventually, and I think I might as well just, you know, rip off the band aid now and do this. Glad I got that off my chest. I was kind of dreading that because I knew it was going to come and I guess maybe it's good that it happened <laughs> the very first one in the medium tier. I got to just go my little rant about that. So, all right, I think I got this safe spot set up. <laughs> it was kind of sketchy getting down here. Uh, so sketchy that I wasn't even recording, but yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. I, I, I honestly, I haven't done a lot of Dagonoth Kings like ever. So, but I guess he's the easiest one to safe spot. So I guess I got kind of lucky that I rolled him first. So hopefully I can get through this, maybe get a ring, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, this could have been worse. Although now I don't know what to do now that he's dead. Ooh, we're in battle axe. Alright, so, so far so good with this, uh, it seems pretty easy. I just wanted to reiterate the the kill count rules and boss farming rules that I, that I stated, just because this is kind of like the perfect example of it, so... I am doing the Dagonoth Rex Champion task, which is to kill him 10 times. And then the next tier is Dagonoth Rex Adept, which is to kill him 25 times. And until I have... that's useless. Until I have that Adept task done, I am not allowed to just farm him. I'm not allowed just to come here and kill him as many times as I want. Um, I think the, the Dagonoths were pretty much the ones that I kind of had in mind while I was making that rule. Just because, again, I didn't want to kind of just rush and just immediately come here, you know, kill them each a hundred times, get all the rings, and be like, alright, cool, that was easy. You know, I kind—I still wanted to make it a challenge, I still wanted to restrict myself, I still wanted to make this a snowflake account that had arbitrary restrictions that are stupid, but ultimately entertaining, so I think I'm doing my best to keep it that way. This should be task completion. There we go, Dagonoth Rex Champion. All right, that was uh, significantly easier than I thought. First medium task done. I am good enough to do medium tasks, at least ones that can be safe spotted. First official medium tier roll is complete, up to 30%, a third of the way done. Number two will be... <laughs> I shouldn't have even teleported out. All right, back to Dagonoth. Man, what are the odds of that? There's like 40 of them in there, and I got the two Dagonoth ones back to back, or two out of the three Dagonoth ones back to back. All right, let's see if this one is also save spotable. <laughs> you can save spot Dagonoth Prime, but it is a little bit harder to set up, and I am now using range instead of melee, or range instead of magic, which... I have a significantly lower range level than magic level. So, yeah, it's it's taken a while. Um, I might go buy a crystal bow for this. I'm using a magic short bow, an unimbued magic short bow. And, yeah, this is pretty brutal. And the worst part is that if I actually somehow get a drop here, I'm going to be too scared to run out and pick it up because I don't want to ruin my quote-unquote safe spot that I'm in. <laughs> I probably should have brought uh, telegram runes. All right, Water Talisman. I don't feel bad about missing that one. Yeah, this one was definitely a lot harder than doing Rex. <laughs> I did end up going getting the uh, Crystal Bow, and that definitely helped a little bit, but 
I mean, it's just, you know, you're just constantly taking tank, tanking hits from these guys, and it's obviously a lot slower, and yeah, I mean, this is, I think this is my fourth trip. I took four trips to kill <laughs> ten, ten primes, and that should do it. Dagonoth Prime Champion, that is me. Sure, it'd be nice if they actually dropped good shit. I can't believe they dropped so many talismans. Like, is that really... Do people farm these for the water talismans? Let's go roll Dagonoth Supreme now. It seems to be the way it's going, so... Go three for three on those. Let's find another medium task. Demonic Weakening. What do you think that is? At least it's not Dagonoth's. Alright, I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, I... Am wearing this. I do not have arc light, nor do I have dark light. Those both require quests I can't do just yet. I do have silver light <laughs> from the the Demon Slayer free to play quest. I know that's. I'm not going to use that to actually kill Skatizo. I'm bring. I'm only bringing it because you can use arc light on the altars and it'll kill them immediately. I couldn't find anything if that if that's true for all like like. The, the arc light weapons or if it's just arc light so I'm gonna try it with silver light I'm guessing it's not gonna work but I figure I might as well try it otherwise I'll just have to yeah manually hit those down with the whip uh, they have a hundred health each so it's this I think this is gonna take a while I think I can do it with this setup but I think it's just gonna be very tedious so I guess maybe I didn't even talk about it but the so the task <laughs> is to kill Skatiza with all of the altars um, gone dead disappeared whatever I don't know extinguished <laughs> All right, let's finish him off. Come on. Yes. I am very surprised I did that first try. <laughs> that was looking a little a little hairy there, but I did it. Cool. Wow, look at all that. Ancient Shard, Hard Clue Scroll. An elite task? That might be the first elite task I've done. I mean, it's almost definitely the first elite task I've done. Alright, two more medium tier tasks checked off there. Let's get a new one. I really want to get some diaries. The diaries just can give me so many nice unlocks quests and gear upgrades and stuff you know if I, if I would have happened to roll the desert medium diary before I did that Skatizo one then I could have used dark light to kill him instead of instead of uh, the whip and that probably would have helped a lot so with that said let's get a diary nope can't touch me what is that oh barrows all right so kill all the melee bros without letting them attack you with melee all right I don't think this won't be too bad I just have to quickly get the uh, the entangle on them before they can hit me Alright, Verona with fucking A. See, I already fucked it up. Oh, this one will be easy. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about this one. Ah, damn it. There. That was stressful. Nope. Fucking A. Shit. No, damn it, God. Can't touch me. Completed. Yeah, that was annoying. That that was harder than the Skatizo one for sure. Next task. Next task. Next task. Karamja Medium. Does that finally unlock Shiloh Village? That'd be really nice. Alright, let's go do the Karamja Medium Diary. All that is left is checking this tree. There we go go medium tasks completed medium diary completed all right so the karamja medium diary gets the the brimhaven agility arena unlocked for me not sure i'll ever really use that but it also uh allowed me to do shiloh village and the taibo wanai 
quest, whatever. Um, so Shadow Village is nice, I can because that unlocks a bunch of stuff. Um, I can do like gem mining and all that. And then the Twilight Bow want stop making me say it. The other quest allows me to I can finally catch Karambuans. I still can't cook them, <laughs> but I can catch them. So we are close to having a nice good food source. Uh, is it you? More Herblore XP. New gloves. These ones still don't have teleports. I'm not sure what these do. All right, I'm feeling the back-to-back -back diary task. That's my prediction here. Hide penetration. Not a clue. So hide penetration is just killing KBD with a stab weapon. So I've got my uh, leaf bladed sword here. Man, this is not going well. What the fuck? Hit him. God. That was the worst one I've done. That was so fun. Hey, remember that time I was generating a new task and I forgot to record the Excel sheets? You guys just had to listen to me pick the task instead. You'll never guess what happened again. And next up is... Sit back and relax. This one is using thralls to kill something. And I have never used thralls. Especially on this account because I've never been able to use uh, the Arceus spellbook, which I think is one you have to use. So thralls require the Kingdom Divided quest to be complete. So I have to do uh, two more quests, just be able to do that quest, then I get to do that long ass quest, then I have to, I think, get my Arceus favor up enough that I can switch to the spellbook. I don't hate questing, but I kind of hate questing. <laughs> Man, the more I look into this, the worse it gets. You you don't just need those quests done, but you actually need, you have to do the, the architectural alliance mini quest things. You have to have 100% favor in all these. <laughs> this is going to take so long. Why is this a medium fucking task, dude? This is going to take me like a week. Uh, okay, see you in a week. It's been one week. I've turned in enough books to get above 60% RCS favor so I can now uh, kill and sold heads. I kind of always thought that was a task, but apparently it's not. So um, this will be a task to, yep, a medium task, but that's required in order to do the thralls and all that. So... You know, that was I was allowed to do that task because it's required for the current combat achievement, so. So I am on my way to deliver the last uh whatever minecart scroll here, which will get me five percent Lovakinj favor, which will get me to hundred percent, so I'm finally done with that one. Yeah, this one sucked. <laughs> I made five hundred dynamite. I did the quest, you know, which gets you 10%, but then the rest of it, I had to make dynamite to get to 75 because I still can't mine the the Lovakite ore or whatever. That's like a medium task that I haven't locked yet, so there we go, 100% favor. If my calculations are correct, there we go, 100% Piscarilius favor. That one was actually pretty quick. Um, when I was doing all the quests, like six months ago to get the third slayer block for some reason i did this one i did the the port piscarilius quest i think i think i was thinking ahead and thought that i might use anglerfish for the Saren fight obviously i didn't do that but anyways long story short yeah so i was already at 30 percent piscarilius um when i started this so i was able to just do the sandworms up for the, the next 100 percent um so yeah not not bad at all pretty quick i can now yeah go finish the architecture architectural alliance thing and then I can finally do that last Karenda quest, and then I can finally <laughs> unlock Thralls, and then I can finally go do this combat task, which I don't even remember what one we're going for. It's been like three days of doing just getting favor and doing quests, but okay, almost done, almost done. I finished Kingdom Divided. I didn't even, I wasn't even recording when I finished it. I was just so burnt out. The quest takes like three hours to do, and it's just dialogue and running around, and Block. Anyways, um, I don't know how these things work. That is, do it one. Oh, sick! I just do it whenever, and then they will automatically attack. Or do I have to attack first? Okay. They're pretty cool. I mean, honestly, I I can totally see where these would be useful. You know, and I'm sure I'll probably find more uses for them in the future. Um, just me and my buddy hanging out, fucking up some hill giants. There we go. 100 damage done with thralls. Yeah. So the task itself took two minutes, 
And with that two-minute task done, that's where I'm going to wrap up episode three. 43% done with the medium tier. A lot of good stuff done today, but we have a lot more to go. Lots of juicy content still in that medium tier. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.